guys welcome back to the fabulous channel welcome back to the city of sin if you guys are new to this channel or stopping in for the first time my name is ryan i will be your host as always we have a lot of stuff to go through today we are going to do one of my secret driving videos here in las vegas how to cut your time for your drive time and how to cut that commute uh, so today we're just leaving the parking garage of the mirage headed out past TI and we will take you on Spring Mountain Road to Las Vegas Boulevard, cross the boulevard, and I'll take you to one of my favorites, Colville Lane. Come on bud, we got a green arrow. Why are you waiting for somebody doing an illegal U-turn? Oh my goodness, some people's kids. All right, so now we are on Spring Mountain Road. I'm gonna take you guys uh, towards Coval Lane. Uh, so we will show you another little way to get up and down the boulevard from north to south uh, by using the east side of Las Vegas Boulevard. That's Las Vegas Boulevard right here. Um, up over to my right, if you take right here, this will take you into the parking garage for the Palazzo here at Las Vegas. Over to the left, uh, that will take you towards the entrance of the wind gotta love when people pull out in front of you and then slowly puts up to the speed limit over on my right hand side this is gonna be the sands expo uh, so if you need to come to the sands expo that's where it is over on my right hand side I'm gonna take a right for you up here this is Koval Lane this is kind of where it ends right on sands here and uh, Koval goes all the way down towards like uh, Reno or Four Seasons I think it's called or Mandalay Place I can't remember what the road is but Anyway, we'll get to that a little bit later. We're gonna take a right here after this uh, Chevy gets out of the way and take you down Coval Lane. Uh, Coval Lane is popular for a few different reasons. Uh, one, because it cuts out traffic. Uh, two, because Tupac was actually shot on Coval Lane and I'll show you where that was here in a little bit. And also because it's a way to get to some of the parking garages on the east side of the casinos. Uh, so like Flamingo, Paris, Harris, um, MGM, their parking garage is all off of Koval here. Uh, so as you can see, pretty non-congested when you compare this to Las Vegas Boulevard. So this really helps with getting your drive times cut down quite a bit. The only problem in Las Vegas is the traffic lights seem to last forever, like an epic decade. These things, I mean, you could literally grow a beard sitting at some of these traffic lights with how long they're timed out, I swear. I know some of the timing is uh, due to certain times of the day when you try and travel just to keep the flow of traffic moving uh, for a certain period of time to prevent uh, congestion and things like that, but it leads to forever ever lights is what I call them, or the forever never lights. Uh, so up over on my right, this is the Westin at Las Vegas. So coming up here, this is gonna be off of Flamingo and this is Koval uh, Lane. So back on September 7th in 1996, over on the left-hand side where you see that Arco gas station, over in that uh, kind of where that black Volkswagen is, and that's where Tupac was shot. Now, according to the reports, uh, Tupac was driving with Suge Knight and Suge Knight was the driver of the BMW, Tupac was the passenger. The perpetrator supposedly was Orlando Anderson, but Dwayne Keith D. Davis confessed to shooting Tupac on the night of September 7th. Now Tupac didn't die on the night of the 7th, he actually died later in Las Vegas Hospital uh, here in Vegas, but uh, that was a few days after the fact. I think that actually happened on like the 13th of September or something like that. I don't know, I would have to look it up for you guys and get the facts and the details on that. but. If you're wondering uh, where that took place, that actually took place right over here off of Koval after a fight that broke out at the MGM between Tupac and Orlando Anderson. That's why they think he was the perpetrator, but somebody actually confessed to the shooting a little bit later. But Orlando has since passed away, Tupac has passed away, so I guess it's really nor here nor there. But I'll show you how quick that drive was for Tupac after leaving the MGM. I mean, they didn't really make it too far. Uh, so as we continue down here on Koval, 
Over to the left hand side will be Ellis Island uh, Casino. I need to check that out for you guys. The brewery was one that's been requested a ton of times. I'm so sorry I haven't got there for you guys. I promise that I will make that happen for you. Um, so remind me, I will get that done. I promise I will, I will, I will, I will. Over to the right is going to be uh, Top Golf. So if you are looking for a good driving range out here in Vegas, uh, this is a good spot. This road is kind of crappy right now. They need to resurface it a bit. Um, but right now this is coming up on Harmon and Koval Lane. So if you take a right on Harmon, this will take you over to the parking garages for Aria and the Cosmopolitan, um, which are right over here. And then if you take a left, off of Harmon onto Las Vegas Boulevard that will take you kind of over to uh, the Park MGM area as well. So right now this is Harmon. Uh, MGM is coming up on my right hand side. There are a bunch of different hotels and condos that are around this area. I've actually looked into it. Some of them are pretty decently priced as well. So uh, something to maybe consider in the future. Maybe getting a condo out here in Vegas, having some place to stay outside of these resorts and casinos. Um, but that will always be something to kind of check out here. Now over to my right, as you see this uh, parking garage kind of emerge from the right hand side, this is actually the parking garage for uh, MGM Resorts. So this is where Tupac and Suge Knight actually took off from that night after they had that fight at the MGM. And we just showed you, I mean, it was a pretty quick drive down to Flamingo off of Koval Lane. So it uh, was pretty quick after they left that that was uh, his final moment. So from when you see the video, I'm sure you've all seen it on the internet, um, but when you see that video of Tupac getting into that altercation at MGM, it was literally like 10 minutes later that he was shot. So it's pretty crazy. If we continue straight, this is uh, Tropicana right here. So if you take a right, this will take you to the OYO uh, or the old Hooters and uh, Tropicana. This will also take you to the parking garage at uh, MGM Grand. So if you're staying at MGM Grand, the parking garage is over here. Uh, where I showed you back there uh, for the parking garage, that's only the exit. So when you're leaving the parking garage at MGM, you'll leave from that spot. Uh, but when you go to park, it's off of Tropicana right up here. Um, you can take a left from Tropicana. Uh, if you're headed uh, eastbound, you can take a left and get there, as well as westbound on Tropicana, you can get there as well. So they make it pretty easy uh, to get in. But we'll go straight here. This will take you kind of down towards Reno, and this will take us down to, I think it's the Four Seasons or Mandalay Place or Mandalay Road or something like that. I can't quite remember. Um, but if you guys remember, in the Mandalay Bay video, I asked you how many miles we walked. I didn't quite forget. I will give you the answer, but that will be upcoming in the Luxor walkthrough. So the next video that I'm gonna release for you guys is gonna be the Luxor walkthrough. I'm gonna ask another question as well in that video, so be sure to stay tuned. If you don't know, um, the other question that was proposed, it was at the end of the Mandalay Bay video. Be sure to check that out, it is a good one. Uh, the Luxor is just as good, so not to disappoint, um, but you'll also have to check that out. So I did a comparison between this and Frank and Sammy and Koval Lane and the Strip. So I'm going to show you uh, the difference with the Strip Drive this year to show you how much extra time it actually takes uh, to do the drive down the Las Vegas Boulevard. It is fun. It is cool to see at night. This one I did during the day so you can see a little bit more. Um, but it's still cool nevertheless. Over to my right, this is Reno. So if you're going to the Luxor uh, parking garage or the Excalibur parking garage, you can get there from Reno. Uh, if you go down a little bit further, you can still get to the Luxor parking garage and Mandalay Bay and Delano parking garage down this way. This is still Coval Lane. Um, be sure like if you see the taxi cab and the other car that uh, kind of flew past me, the speed limit here does reduce from 35 down to 25, so don't get yourself a ticket because they do have uh, patrols that will actually sit out here and clock and look for people that are going excessive above the speed limit because they do get some pretty hefty tickets out of this considering that the speed limit is only uh, 25 in this part. So I'm gonna take a left, I'm gonna take you down towards the Las Vegas sign, but I'll actually cut the video here 
and then I'll do a strip drive video here for you a little bit later, so be sure to check that out. Um, be sure to like this video, subscribe if you have not already done so, considering the supporting the channel on Patreon. This brings more of Vegas to you, uh, so you guys can see more of these Las Vegas videos. I love doing these type of videos for you guys, so I appreciate all the support that I can get from you. It truly means a lot. All the great comments and everything to look forward to is absolutely amazing. Uh, don't forget, I will have another question for you. If you haven't checked out the last one in Mandalay Bay, it was how many miles did I walk? I will give you the answer to that in the Luxor video that's going to come next. But as always, my name is Ryan. Until next time.